Welcome to LV Craft Shows. Thank you so much for 25 years of support. We love to bring you unique gifts and events, something for everyone. So many original crafts, one-of-a-kind gifts, delicious foods including vegan and vegetarian, boutiques, art, and many other items. LV Craft Shows has won the Review Journal's Best of Las Vegas for many years. Our goal is always to bring you the best. LV Craft Shows presents night markets, festivals, specialty events. We love supporting crafters, artists, and small businesses. Whether you like shopping for unique gifts, take out your family, make it a day or night out with friends, enjoy some food and entertainment, need a girl's night out, or take a little mini trip to the mountains to escape the heat, LV Craft Shows has got it all, and there is still more to come. Check out our website, lvcraftshows.com. We have many shows, so check our calendar of events. Again, thanks for sharing your time with our family. We look forward to seeing you soon. LV Craft Shows loves to bring you shows all over the valley and even up to the mountains. Join us for the Labor Day Food and Artisan Festival at the Retreat on Charleston Peak. Amazing shopping with dozens of vendors and beautiful scenery at very comfortable temperatures. It's an indoor and outdoor event. And I am here with Christina from Planet Earth Jewelry. So Christina, we're so happy that you're here with us at the Mount Charleston Christmas in July event. Show us a little bit or tell us a little bit about your jewelry. What yes. inspired you to make that? I lived all over the world, quite frankly. And so I got inspired. I lived in Singapore, Hong Kong, India. And everywhere I went, I saw the beauty of their nature. And so I started making jewelry and I basically, I do one of a kind pieces. So this is like a plain necklace and they're all semi-precious stones. Nice. So there's like carnelian and onyx mm -hmm. and copper and um, agate laced beads. It has a good weight to it too, yeah. which is nice. And then a really great item is this one here. I call them the Druzies because they come out of a cave and they cut them and then I wire wrap them in, yes. eight, in 14 karat gold filled wire. So they're all one of a kind pieces. Wonderful. And they're really inspirations. Well, and we love that you're here and all festive and I know we're going to see you at many more of our yes. shows. I'm with Elida here from Celebrate Your Talent. And what Elida does is she, well, why don't you explain what you do? <laughs> Well, we're a, we're a 501c3 registered and we do art kits. Um, we do them in a little bit different way. It's one of our teaching programs and the program is called Beyond Words. Um, it works as a yogurt shop would work. So you choose a base here and then you come to the table and you choose your toppings and you put them on. When, the kid, when people are finished, we put it in a bag for them. Um, and it may and look like this. Yeah, and it may look like this. So this one is magnetic and it sits on um, that and we have the two and a half inch on the easel and we have some of the other things and some Christmas takes for, for Christmas parties. Um, the concept behind it is that crafting can be made easy and quick and that they're important for everyone to be able to do. So um, it's for everyone. And you can see her with her projects at quite a few of our shows. So be sure to check her out, bring your kiddos. It's so much fun to watch them create some art right here on the spot. I'm here with Susan from Bose Decor and more. And Susan specializes in diamond art, not just paintings, but also beautiful cards, keychains, all kinds of stuff. Tell us, what made you want to do diamond art? Well, I saw it on Facebook and it looked interesting and I thought I could do that so I just ordered a couple things and then it grew and grew and grew and they keep coming out with new things and I keep buying them <laughs> and it's really really cool because I sent uh, one to my cousin she loves cats and it was amazing because she said wow this is a card I have never seen before so if you want a unique card whether it's for the holidays what other um, designs oh, do you I have? I have a birthday, Mother's Day, Father's Day, thank you cards <laughs> And you could even frame these. They make nice pictures. There you go. It stays, it stays well for, for good. So be sure you check out Susan at several of our upcoming shows.
with Patrick from Aloha Specialties. Patrick, you have all these amazing Hawaiian goodies. Tell us about it. So yeah, so we're, I'm born and raised in Hawaii. Uh, we've been around all this delicious Hawaiian uh, gourmet products. I uh, grew up with it. So I was like, you know, we just decided to you know, come up to the mainland and just share it with all the people up here. Just things they can't just find in regular stores, you know. We have like Hawaiian style sauces, jams, jellies and snacks. Just things that are unique and different. You know, to everyone. You definitely have to come check him out. He's at almost all of our shows coming up, so please be sure to stop by. Thank you. Karen and Linda from Karen's Crystal Brittles and the Stuffy Ladies. Karen, what inspired you to make brittle? It was my father's favorite candy. So I made it because uh, my mother could cook everything else. So I learned from a lady who was in her 80s, spent a whole day, and so she taught me to make it. And then uh, fudge, I've been making fudge for years, and Linda kept telling me that I needed to sell fudge. So I finally gave in, and two years ago we did the fudge. It's very, very delicious. Now, Linda, you are in charge of the Stuffy Ladies. What's that all about? Well, 11 years ago when we started the Brittle business, we had decorations like this in our booth, and everyone kept trying to buy them, and that's how the Stuffy Ladies was born. And they all have detachable gift card pouches. Most of them can be hung. And then, during the pandemic, we learned to do shadow boxes, and now, if you can think it up, we can make it. And there is something for everyone. So you have different types of brittle, you have the fudge, you have the shadow boxes, the stuffies, you have other containers and things. And it's really inspiring because you two always dress alike, you wear the same jewelry, the same shoes, and you're inseparable as best <laughs> friends. And when we have two shows in two different places, you have to sometimes split up. Do. How do you do it? Uh, make extra stuff. <laughs> and work a little bit harder just so that we can split up, do everything that we want to do. And we love having your shows, being a part of them. So. As a violin teacher, you say you have some really talented students that sometimes chip in and help you, right? We do. So a lot of my students work the booth during the holiday season, and we appreciate their help as well, and they're starting to be known in the booth. So be sure you come and see them at pretty much all our indoor events. Kiki from Kiki's Candles and Kiki makes amazing candles. Why don't you tell us how your candles are different from others? Well, they're different because they're made by my husband and I and they're not mass produced. They are 100% soy, you have 100% cotton wax and you have a burn time at least three to four hours for a perfect melt time. Oh, that's nice and I'm smelling one. It smells like lavender and you know what lavender keeps the bugs away and you said also and it's, lavender is good for your inner peace as well oh. and if you want your inner peace you just have to come check out Kiki's candles at our events I'm here with Lisa from resinista Lisa and you're specializing in resin and things like that tell us yes. a little bit about what you make well, I started down the little rabbit hole on Instagram and saw this resin and I just thought it was amazing so I wanted to try it. And I started out with coasters and then the ocean is just so calming and amazing so I started working with that. It's a little challenging but I absolutely love playing with resin. And Lisa comes up with all kinds of things. I mean, from charcuterie boards that look like turtles. Like she said, the ocean theme is just amazing. But she also makes little resin figurines and all kinds of things. You need to come out to our shows or to her page and check her out. Thanks so much, Susie. 
hello I'm here with Irene from Irene's gift for you and Irene makes something really unique she's making these beautiful lanterns for all occasions what made and what inspired you to make these well honestly I bought a set of lanterns and I made one of the wine ones for my own kitchen and my husband said why don't you do that as your crafts because I was doing other things and so I started that and it exploded into everything from Christmas to Vegas Golden Nights to traditional wine to Hanukkah so whatever you dream I could make it and you do custom work as well right? absolutely yes because there's something for everyone all of the lanterns light up with battery operated lights so whatever you want I can put into a lantern and she's a very very busy businesswoman so to catch her at our shows be sure that you check out lvcraftshows.com thank you Sherry from Valentina Marketplace. She's one of our new vendors and artists and our new VIP and she makes really unique purses and handbags. Tell us about how, what inspired you to make these and what uh, dif makes them different from others. Okay, well, um, I like everything blingy so I always used to shop, go to the stores and find blingy stuff and when I couldn't find things I would always buy charms and decorate my own purses or my own jean jackets and I would always get like a lot of compliments um, on it so then I started making them for gifts and everything yeah I really love it I also love how you kind of the way how you display them I yeah. think that's really I mean look at this this is just gorgeous different it's soft these are nice when you don't need so much room and all and over here you can see all the blingy things yes. is there anything that's most of uh, that's like your favorite well um, I use I do a lot of spiritual I like to do crosses and um, stuff like that but I got into doing uh, sarcasm like little uh, like jokes on with the purses and everything and I do have like these uh, uh, spiders and everything that bling and stuff and I, so I try to do different subjects. And you can make them for different seasons, and I assume you can make custom work as yes, well. Yes, I right? can, yeah. So come see Jerry at some of our shows, at other craft shows, and check out her amazing person. Troy and Debbie from Jones and Company and they make some really unique leather items. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what you make and why? Yeah, so um, we're really happy to find a home here with Las Vegas craft shows because it's kind of a hobby gone bad and it turned into a business and um, people really like our products and we really try to bring quality products using some of the top of the line leathers and some of the stitching methods and the products that we use in creating our leather so that we get longevity of use as well as that the person who is purchasing the, the product gets pleasure and has a good experience with it. I think that sounds really cool and if you see on their table they have all kinds of things and they keep adding on and you will see them at many of our upcoming shows this year. From, I'm here with Trina from Doglicious Bakery Bites and she makes amazing dog treats and they are they are human grade and natural and she does a big variety as you can see they look like human tell us what inspired you what made you want to do this for dogs i am gluten free and my baby 
who is 12 years old. She's gluten free, and I wanted to. My, one of my friends actually encouraged me to do this, and I wanted to make sure that all of the dogs got healthy, all natural treats, and they can live longer if they eat healthy. And that's very, very true. It's very important that there's not a lot of preservatives or items that people can't even pronounce in there. I also love how you make these cute little uh, boxes that are like gift boxes with really gorgeous looking delicious dog treats that not only your dogs can enjoy but me as a human as well and you mentioned they're gluten free why not enjoy a dog treat together right exactly i love it i have soft products and uh, cookies that are a little bit harder and lots of different treats and even they're human grade and they are definitely human uh, grade and Gluten free, natural, all right? natural. And if you don't want to buy a whole box, you can buy literally individual items as well. So be sure to check out Trina, who comes out to quite a few of our shows, especially at Tivoli and all, where you can bring your dogs and have them try it right there. So I am here with Victor from Real Deal Barbecue. And it's not your typical barbecue sandwich, although he does that too at some of our shows. But his specialty are Real Deal Barbecue Brownies. Tell us about it and what, it's, what is it? What's different from other brownies? So instead of cooking them in the oven, I cook them on a wood-fired smoker. So I take chocolate chip cookie dough, Oreo cookies, and brownie, and then I put some salted caramel on the top, and I make that in the smoker. And they are the best brownies you've ever eaten. And, and they're definitely one of a kind. I mean, I'm not a big brownie person at all, except these. I mean, you have the one with the Oreo, you have one that's called Plain Jane, you have a Nutty Jane. What's the difference there? The Plain Jane and the Nutty Jane have shortbread on the bottom. My wife came up with that specialty. And then it's just plain brownie, and the Nutty Jane has walnuts in it. I encourage you to come to our shows early, because we are only a couple hours into the show, and he's almost sold out. So check out Real Deal Barbecue at LV Craft Shows. Nadia and Marcella. Marcella. Marcella from um, <laughs> Maximum LB, right? Mm -hmm. Is that how you said? Okay. And Nadia makes tumblers and cups, <laughs> and um, Marcella makes crochet bingo items. <laughs> this is bingo <laughs> and more. So tell us what inspired you to make the cups? Well, I do have an obsession with cups. 
and my husband's like, well, you have to do something about her. So I started my own business. I do like to bring new things. So I have glow in the dark. I have glass. I have 30, uh, 30 ounces, 40 ounces. I have everything. And I do make them myself. So if anyone wants something special made, I can also do that. Well, and your mom makes amazing uh, yes. crochet uh, items. Um, what did, did inspire her to do this? Well, my mom just is a grandma. So she loves to crochet, so I'm like, I might as well just do the business with me. And this is what we do. <laughs> and this is one of the newest additions. His name is Bingo. And you can find both of these wonderful ladies at many of our upcoming events. Here with Cindy from Mount Charleston Zen. And Cindy has a wide variety of crystals and rocks and jewelry. You actually started as a candle vendor with me and then you transformed into all this. Tell us about it. So I've been a crystal collector for quite a few years. And I started putting, uh, I learned how to make candles and I started putting the crystals in the candles. And then I just started adding to the collection and it has grown into a very successful business here. And you make all these bracelets yourself, right? Yes. And all the crocheted uh, um, items? Yes, I do. This is really, really an amazing collection. She will also tell you what each rock means or does. So if you need a little bit more happiness, more good health, fortune, what other things right. do we need? A lot of people are looking at this day and age for deflecting negativity. Deflecting so we have stones negativity. for that. Yep, yep, yes. yep. And exactly. then love is also right up there. So you have deflecting negativity and bringing love in as well. You can find Cindy at many of our events. Please be sure to come check her out. from Island Girls Design and Marlene does very unique art and please tell us what are you doing? Um, so I take old books that people have um, discarded for whatever reason and make them into new art pieces to remind them kind of the value of of what books really are and to kind of keep those out of the environment. Um, so you'll see a lot of different things. Uh, the Grinch for example, old maps here, um, just anything that I can find. I just like to turn it into something new again um, to give it new life. And you also take like old cabinets and doors and stuff that you repaint. Or yes. I don't know what you call that, but that's correct. So uh, all of the pieces are set on old uh, cabinet doors. Like you can see the framing in this particular piece, or even in the Grinch here, or cathedral window frames, which you recognize, or just old fence board, which is what is the backing for this particular piece. So there are a lot more components than just the book. There's just lots of pieces, and you'll see several that have old jewelry pieces. Um, pretty much anything that people are throwing away, I like to play with and make something else with. <laughs> it's just really, really unique and she actually won the most unique award with us. So please come and see Marlene at our shows. Michelle from
from Luna Energy candles and they are not just regular candles. Michelle actually makes them with a reason behind it. Why don't you tell us about that? So all of my candles are made by the phase of the moon with an intention. So every candle has a sticker on it to tell you what phase of the moon we're in when I made it that evening and that's the affirmation to think of while you burn. All of my crystals are charged under the full moon, my flowers as well. And I try to match a little personality with each candle with the scent that it gives off. I think that is so amazing and Yay, so unique. Thank you. So unique. You can find Michelle at several of our upcoming events and at, on our Instagram given on the screen. I am here with Desiree and John from Wooten Handcrafted and they make beautiful cutting boards, pens and a lot more. So tell us a little bit about what you do and why. Uh, we love to create unique personal gifts. Um, that's something that we like to give is a gift that actually means something to somebody that's special. Um, so we customize our boards, we do laser engraving, we can pretty much put anything you can think of. It's very popular for wedding gifts, um, retirement, graduations, things like that. And then we try to specialize in things you don't find everywhere else. So we have something called a Santa's Compass. That's a very popular item um, that everybody really enjoys to give. It's a great gift for a family. Um, my husband does all the woodworking. I do the designs and laser engraving. We can also personalize our pens. Um, he hand turns wood and acrylic pens. We can put names, logos, etc. on that. Um, we have an ugly sweater ornament that's a very popular one. Each one's a little bit different, unique. We can also put names on those. Um, we can personalize pretty much anything to make it something special um, as a gift that you would want to give to somebody. So. It sounds wonderful and you can find Wooten Handcrafted at several of our shows and on the contact information given on the screen.